a world of difference. Yeah. Between those two insults. Yeah, the you geezer. You geezer and the other one that we don't. Yeah, we were talking about more crass insults. I said a more crass insult, like in wait in my life, because if this is your first impression of GS, which actually it isn't probably. No, if you're, if you're, if you're watching Caves episode number five, five, this is not your first impression. But what if you know? know. What there's if? some things I think that can get you kicked off of YouTube, like death threats or. Yeah, well, I don't make death threats. Like, oh. No, no, who does, though? I'm not a... Nobody. I'm not a homicidal maniac. Oh, no! We can do this. We can do this. No. Yeah, I'm sure that... Okay. We're very nice men Let's... on GS. We're what? actually some of the nicest men. We are. Objective. But think... Empirically. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. We have a we have a system to measure. <laughs> this is such a weird way to open an app. Look at that guy with his bones. An app. <laughs> you, mean this, you mean this pirate? Or the skeleton. Or the, the pirate. They both have bones. <laughs> they both have bones. No bones about bones. No bones, 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 bones. Oh my god. It's the end of the night. This is, is our last app for the night. It is it? Is it? No, it's not. Okay, it is it? it? <laughs> this is our last CC app of the night. It is it? What time is it? Okay. It is. It we'll, is. we'll do this until like... We'll here. do this for like 30 or 40 minutes of here. this. But I want to play some G's we've never, we've never peed. <laughs> Games we've never played. <laughs> right, right, right. This. Well, okay. Okay. Um, I'm getting loopy, but I had a really good point to make. So, take that. Hey! Fuck it. Yeah. Get hey. out of my face, you bone. You <laughs> Q-bone. We didn't talk about Pokemon Go. We Everyone's didn't. Everyone's been talking about Pokemon Go. Yeah, I haven't tried it. Have you? Uh, I downloaded it and played it for about five minutes. Did you catch it? Did you catch one? I caught a Bulbasaur, because I think that's the... I think, you know, the first one you catch is... Is just always it's there. In your house. Yeah, it's in your house. Really? But it's in your house. Yeah, it was actually uh, right over here on the desk. Um, that's cool. Spoilers: Game Sleepers recorded at my house. The blade gun. I think they knew that. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, but um, but we, but no, no, not a spoiler. We uh, we recorded at a studio that we rent. We pay a rent of twelve hundred dollars a month for uh, an office studio. Um, this is cool. This is real cool. Look at that attack pattern. Where yeah, is I know. it going? It's got this this curve to it. I would like to. I want to know more about the. It just goes up. It just goes up. That's all it does. Cool. It's a um, bouncing blade, like in Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I wanted to catch the nearest thing was like a ratata or I forget, and it was a couple blocks away, and I didn't want to walk, so I just didn't get it. <laughs> you know, all so, my life I've been hoping for a real life. I wish that Pokemon yeah. was a real thing, and now that it is, I couldn't care less. I was telling you on. On a chat, on a Gmail chat, that I'm not gonna play. Like, I might, tr I might try it, but also my phone probably won't even run it. I have an old, f I have an old phone. Oh, that's the other thing. My phone's very old too. Yeah. I gotta upgrade. I get to upgrade in uh, like ten days or something. Oh man, yeah. So I'm gonna get a new phone. Yeah. Couldn't upgrade my phone. We're not on a, we're not on a plan that gives Oops. upgrades anymore. We're on, oh. we're on one of these budget. Really? Internet? Not budget. One of these budget phone programs that you. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to advertise for them, but we're on one of these budget internet... Internet. I keep fucking saying internet. Phone plans where you don't get a new phone, but our phone bill is ridiculously cheap now. It's I like would, a third of what it was before. I'd still take that plan over the, you yeah. know, the so other thing. We actually, have, we actually are going to have to buy new phones at some point, but, but then you it's get still going to be yeah. cheaper overall than than being on one of these yeah. big providers, and I haven't noticed any problems with our service or anything. It's actually oh. been better. Quit boning me! <laughs> <laughs> that that glass of milk looked uh, looked like it was going bad. It was because uh, our, it was like our inventory out. was full, so I think oh, we just it? lost it. Oh, no. That's weird. You pick it up, but you still throw it away. I'm hmm. assuming is what happened. Yeah, yeah. kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That sucks. I I pretty much can't run Hearthstone very well on my on my phone. I have an LG G2. Okay. Yeah, I have an LG G2. It's pretty old now. So actually, the only way I'm going to be able to play Pokemon Go is on your phone, so maybe I'll watch you play it sometime if we're out somewhere. Can, I don't know. You can just pick it up right now. My phone's right there. But, yeah, it runs pretty slow on my phone, too. It's okay. You're not missing anything, though. That's the thing. It's not... Actually, it's not that much of a game. It's more of an experience. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You, you just travel and you look for the Pokemon and you flick the ball, the Pokeball at it, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you can, it has like a battling system like the Game Boy games, right? So you can battle other I people in the area? I don't think it's that in depth. You can't even battle other people? Well, I think you, I think you can, but I think it's pretty it's pretty simple. Okay, I, I don't actually know all that much about it, so don't take so what I'm battling. saying. Yeah, we probably shouldn't even be talking, talking no. about it then, but the, even just the collection aspect, 
is awesome for kids. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's awesome for kids that are between 6, 7, and maybe 12. Maybe even up to 14. Like, yeah, probably. Like, kids that are riding their bikes. Because I used to be one of these... One of these just bored kids riding my bike around with my friends, yeah. which a lot of these... What are you going to do all summer? A lot of kids you know? are doing. Yeah, exactly. And this would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have given us something to do. You know what we used to we do? Were out. We'd, when we were we would look at the thing. Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell the story? Which tell one? Tell the story about something that we did when we were kids? We used to make videos when we were kids. Yeah. With a camcorder. With the camcorder. Yeah, we used to carry the camcorder around the town and just... Sometimes we went to the park. And tape, tape us doing r ridiculous stunts. And stunts. thankfully... Not really even stunts. They weren't even that exciting. No. They were just dumb things because we were bored and there was nothing else to do. Though. Like we had an old VHS tape of some stupid movie, or maybe it was a blank tape, or maybe it was a tape of some things that we had recorded earlier, and we just wanted to destroy something. We pulled <laughs> out the tape just to see how long it was. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. We were so bored. We could have been playing Pokemon Go <laughs> if we were children in today's world. It would have been so much better. We were bored, and we still had the uh, game consoles, but even those get boring after a while. Like, Pokemon Go would have been awesome, because that would have... I've Okay, here's the thing. It's 2016. Nobody's walking around outside anymore. Nobody's riding a bike anymore. Pokemon Go is the one thing that... Are kids still? I think kids might still be. I don't know. I don't know. But that's the thing. Not just kids are playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. Lots that's... of my friends are playing this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be... Yeah, I said it's lots just... of my friends. I'm your only man. I know. Stop it. No, no. You, I know you have other my, friends. And you, uh... My only man? What's an only man? Only man. I don't know. I, friend. You're right, though. Man is equal to friend in that situation. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. But, uh, but yeah, some some adults are playing it, and I guess it's probably something neat to try not, out. Not some adults. All adults between the ages of 25 and 35. It seems it seems that way, but it's it really like to me. I would have I would have been so excited if I was a child and yeah. Pokemon Go was a thing. Like me and my boys, we would have been my boys. We would have been. <laughs> Who are we your boys? Been all over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know um, your, I know your boys. Chris, Matt, Steve, Andy. You guys would have been Johnny. You, you would have started Not, your. Well, Johnny was. I kind of knew him through Andy, but these are fellas that I rode bikes around with. Mainly, mainly Matt and Chris, though. You could have started your own Pokemon chain gang. Yeah. yeah. And we would have. We would have. Oh, we would have got them all. We would have. We probably would have got. We probably would have crossed the turnpike and stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, everybody's making these jokes now, so it's kind of hack at this point. How do you know? How do you know everybody's making these jokes? Have you heard them? Yeah, well, I've been on Twitter and stuff. Oh. You know, people are making jokes oh. about people dying, you know, from playing Pokemon Go. Has anyone made the joke about Tentacruel being at the bottom of the ocean and you mm, have to, no, you I have to go that. under there with your phone and drown? Oh, I hadn't heard that one. I haven't heard it either, but <laughs> that's the first one I thought of. But I don't know. I'm sure yeah. somebody's made that one by now. If you want to catch a water Pokemon, you have to go under the ocean. Wait, where am I going? Oh, here we go. This is where All we're right, going. yeah, whatever. Pokemon Go. Yeah, but whatever. Speaking of stuff you shouldn't be doing, no, you can play Pokemon Go, but try it out. I've I've heard it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Feels oh. yeah. Oh. I think we beat that topic to death for something that everybody else has probably already beaten to death. And by the time this episode comes out, the game, the Pokemon Go has probably been out for three weeks, four weeks. Check it out. Yeah, you're, you're really getting this game, man. You're Thanks. really getting the mechanics. Look at that skeleton. He's upset. What's up, dudes? He's a sword sponge. I know. He's a glutton for sword punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in this game is a sword That's sponge. a sentence I never thought I would say. Yeah, I know. Check it out. Speaking of cutting with swords, I cut myself shaving with an electric razor. What? Didn't know that was possible. How did you even do that? I don't know. I, I didn't just, know that was possible. I was uh, I shaved with an electric razor because I don't grow a magnificent beard and I can get away with just doing it with an electric razor every other day. Oh. I'm due for a shave, but you I do? don't look terrible right now. No, you are you kidding? Huh? You barely look like you have stubble, yeah, man. Yeah, this is you a couple look great. This, this is a few days. You're looking great. This is this is days of stubble. I shaved My today. Man. Yeah, I have yeah. an awful beard. That's days of stubble. I have the beard of an Asian man. Yeah. Let, let's trade, trade and grade. F. Yeah, you have. You can. You could grow a beard. You could probably grow a pretty decent beard. I had one this morning. No, I'm just kidding. But you 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 have pretty decent facial hair. It's I tried a, to no, grow a beard once. It was awful. It's pretty patchy. It's embarrassing. Still. That's the oh, thing. Oh really? That's like a good beard has to be uniform. It has to be. Yeah. I have patches on my cheeks and yeah. I don't look at. I don't like looking at these guys with these wispy, these wispy uh, nerd beards. Nerd beards. If you if Next you can't beards. do it, man, just don't don't bother. Yeah, I guess. 
and that's what I learned. I did grow a beard once. Oh my god! It was real bad. So <laughs> I landed in lava. I learned my lesson. I looked awful for about a month and a half, and uh, I'll never do it again. The lesson was don't try to do anything differently. And the lesson was try try things differently and fail. And, and fail. Try things, fail, Important and then you, then you get better. But you didn't get better. But yeah, speaking of other things that you shouldn't do. I had a soda yesterday. I had a half a soda. What? I split it with Ann, yeah. What kind, what kind of soda? It was a bottle of soda. It was a... It was a Virgil's brand root beer. Virgil's? I never heard it's of that. Just like, it's like a designer brand. Our friend James designer gave, it, soda. gave it to us for Christmas. I think it was two or three Christmases ago. Oh. And it's just been in our fridge. This shows you how often that we drink soda. Nice. Not often. No. It was a four pack. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the third one. It took Jesus. us years to get to it. It's very good though. It was good. It's probably past this expiration date. It was slightly flat, but surprisingly still had some bite to it. Like Barks. Like yeah, I, I, I enjoy. I do enjoy a soda once in a while, not a full, not like a whole can or a whole no, bottle of no. soda, but it's a nice treat once in a while to have a soda, like a little bit. Yeah, like a half a bottle or half a can or one of those like mini mini cans. You know, they're just they're too sweet, man. Yeah, it it's really is. It really is strong. If if you if you don't have soda for a long time, it's like stronger than whiskey to drink of all the carbonation you don't really oh. notice it because like there's a lot of kids that just grow up drinking soda all the time but i stopped drinking soda when i was an adult and then i'll have it once in a while and i handle whiskey better than soda that's that's pretty backwards that's pretty yeah. crazy man i'm not at that point so it's really strong i don't handle whiskey very well but i love it anyway yeah, I wish I could drink whiskey on a regular basis, but yeah. I get the worst hangovers from whiskey. It sucks. That's weird. Even beer a little bit. It's like I have to drink wine almost. Oh, man. To... You're making me want bourbon right now. Yeah. We have wine down. If I want to drink, I, ha I like I have to drink wine. It's kind of stupid. That's like the yeah. only thing that doesn't give me a hangover. That though. doesn't. That doesn't even make sense though, because bourbon is just you know, like any of the hard liquors are just str mostly straight up liquor. Yeah. And even wine is definitely not. Vodka. Yeah, that's really weird, man. I don't know. It sucks. Maybe you're allergic. I bet you're allergic to alcohol. Very small, to a very small amount. Maybe. You think? I don't know. Probably not. Oh yeah, I've done a lot of uh, things I haven't done in a long time. I had a beer the other day. You did? Yeah. Wow. But t tell us, tell us. I don't know, I just drank a beer. Like at home? Yeah, just at home. Oh. Did you, did you go buy a single beer? It was actually a beer and a half, because my wife is using it to cook a chili recipe, and it oh. called for half a bottle of beer in the chili. Oh. So That's I drank nice. the half a bottle, and then I was like, that wasn't enough, so I had another one. It's kind of pointless to drink half a bottle of beer. Yeah. You get you get no buzz, and you and it's not very satisfying. So I didn't really get that much of a buzz anyway, but... Oh, it's a store. A beer and a half is at least something. I was just playing some Hearthstone, which is pretty frequent. I also shit myself. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I wanted to save this for the show, but I kept forgetting to tell you about it. But I was reminded because the beginning of this story begins with so I was playing Hearthstone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've never shit myself in my life, even as a kid or an adult. I this is such a gross story though. Just fast forward if you think it's too gross. I'll try and make it quick. So I was sitting on the couch, and the way I play Hearthstone is I <coughs> Cyborg Colossus. He looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like this. Oh, he's walking like Metal Man. Oh, he's neat. Kind of Mega Man style design we got there. You can just parry these. Yeah, go ahead, parry those missiles. I dare you. It's working. And it is working. Swords really do the job. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Fuck. Uh, I was just joining in with your swearing. Oh, that's okay. Keep, uh, tell more. Tell more story. Oh, yeah, I was... So how I play Hearthstone is I have a laptop that I hook up to my television. Uh-huh. Via HDMI cable, and I hook up a mouse, and then I have a, a, a mouse pad and, a you know, like a laptop desk. Uh -huh. I put that on my lap. I slouch as far back as I can in my couch, uh -huh. and I must look. I look like the most laziest piece of shit playing Hearthstone. Like if uh -oh. my opponents heard me and saw me and all the shit that I'm talking to them while I'm playing, <laughs> they would be really pissed if no. they saw what a what a lazy sack of shit they're losing to. Yeah, looks like. But you're pretty smart though. Yeah, I'm pretty good at Hearthstone. Oh, look at how much damage they do. They do 20. That's so that's just a description of how I play Hearthstone, the most the laziest way possible. Right, right. It's very comfortable though, just sitting on your couch. I bet. Watching, watching the big 
playing it on the TV. Is this the final zone? It's very comfortable. Herbert, Herbert, Her, Herberto's laboratory. Holy crap, I think this is it. Oh, here's what he, I know what he's going to do here. He's going to throw bombs. He's going to, well, he's, just, he's probably just going to drop them. They're probably just going to fall out of his ass. Yeah, that's probably all that's happening. They're just falling out of him. He just runs away. He's really embarrassed. Yeah. Tell the story, though. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I ate, but, uh, you know, I, you know, so, you know, you feel like you got to take a dump. And my colon is very, very, uh, it's, it's very good. <laughs> it's one, very it's good. One, it's one part of my body that, Highly rated. that holds that's that holds together very well. Thankfully, I haven't had any troubles with that. Joe, I think this is the end of the game. Nah, We're going through this area with no enemies in. It. Oh, psych! No, just kidding. Okay, turret, continue. Your colon is the best of all current. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, turrets. yeah. I've I've never shit myself. Good. And I also have never th thrown up. No, well, that's yeah, I have true. thrown up. Very rarely, though. You are lucky. extremely rarely. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I was sitting on the couch in just like a position that uh, is uh, like really slouching on a couch. So then I uh, I had to take a dump, but I was like, oh, I'll probably be fine for the rest of the episode. And then I was like, and then I was like, oh, I gotta fart. And then oh. after I finished my game, I was like sitting up while farting, and uh, you know, like it, it, a little bit. It wasn't a lot, but a little bit came out, and oh, it was really gross. It was fucking is... gross. And the cleanup and the smell. Oh. And it was the the smallest amount. Oh, it was fucking gross. That was dude. really gross. It's fucking gross. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, but it took me like an hour to. I had obviously I ran to the bathroom and then. Uh, oh boy. Was yeah, your the wife thing, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told her about it and I I, I threw out the. the I, sh underwear. I showed it to her as well. I threw out no I I threw out the underwear. Oh. Uh, I'm not cheap enough that I'm gonna keep underwear that uh, had actual shit in it. <laughs> good 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 plan plan that's a good story Joe when was this recently like a... I don't know it was like a month ago oh I don't know you, you didn't tell me about this no I didn't because I was saving it for the show I wanted to embarrass oh, myself I, this is a really good episode funny. to do it on too because this is episode this is five only true fans will know about Joe's craptacular adventures yeah this so if you have five. a story about hey I told my embarrassing story about shitting myself if you have one why don't you post it in the comments below to be forever viewed by other Publix. I have an embarrassing story about a friend of mine who recently crapped his pants. Who did? It was you. Oh, I was gonna say, was it Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Of, of Hey, look, we found the laser. Holy crap. It's leveling up. There's, it is? No, no, that's no, the charger. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking There's about. There's so many weapons in this game. I love them all. Oh, look. Oh, it shoots through walls. Don't you love how this is here to teach you that fact? Yeah, it's That pretty you can nice. shoot through walls with this weapon? Well, how cool well is that? Designed. Well designed, Ex Jordan. Extremely well designed. Jordan's Man. the name of the, the guy we've been in contact with. From there, the, yeah. He's the developer of Callie's Caves 3. I love that when a game design moment just... just It just comes together and you go, Oh, that's what this is for. And it's very obvious. Everything comes together. Everything dies. I wonder dies. if it's that powerful, though. No, it's not very powerful. But look at how fast <gasps> it shoots. Yeah, and also how fast it levels up. Yeah, because it's, it's fresh and yeah. brand... Do you th brand new. Do you, do you <laughs> think that uh, we get more experience in the later areas like this one? Or maybe not. Probably. Mm, maybe. No? The enemies might be having more hit points as well. I feel like they have to have more hit points at yeah. this point because we're, we're, we're so much stronger. more leveled up. Yeah, so speaking of terrible things and uh, things that bums do... I went out the other day looking like a bum, and I was, I really didn't want to go out, but I had to send some outgoing mail, but I only had to just drop it in the mailbox, but I still have to drive to our closest mailbox, which is at the post office. Okay. And I drove there, I just, I didn't shower, I didn't shave, I was wearing the same t-shirt that I slept in. Oh. But it was the, you know, it was early in the day, and I was, I had to get, I wanted to just get my shipments out and just go home, but then I decided I wanted to stop at the Wawa, which is a local convenience store. Not local, it's a chain convenience, it's a convenience store. God, these stories are fucking long-winded. And I decided I wanted to get a stop and get a beef steak, and I got a donut. <laughs> beef stick? I got steak a donut or stick? for Anne. Oh. Oh yeah, Anne's your wife, by the way, I don't know if we've, we've mentioned that on yeah, the show. Yeah, we've mentioned it like a hundred times. Are you sure? Oh, sorry, yeah. I, I didn't, okay, never mind. We've mentioned it before. Okay, but we can mention it again. Okay, can continue. I don't know, and I looked like a bum, and I felt embarrassed, but the guy that rang me up there looked like a bum, too, and he went to work looking like a bum, so I didn't feel quite as bad, so, you know, I started really showboating around him. <laughs> <laughs> you what? 
<laughs> what does that mean? I started swinging my arms around and showing him my muscles. No, you didn't do that. Showboating around the Wawa clerk. Yeah, I was like, hey, dude. That's ridiculous. You work at Wawa, and I don't work at Wawa. <laughs> but That's insane. We need to go up here to get to that shop. Yeah, I just started becoming a real jerk. I started showboating, and everybody else around me was like, dude, look at this guy. He's so cool. And I was like, give me a free cup of soup. <laughs> <laughs> did he and, do it? Yeah, he did it. <laughs> he did it. He did it because he was he was such a he was afraid. He was you. such a cuck. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, a lot of people use this word cuck lately. Have it's, you seen it? Oh, it's so cringe. Yeah, it's, okay, it is. I, it has gotten to the point where it's very. No, cringe. it was always cringe. No, it wasn't because always. Cringe. It was always cringe because it was never used correctly. Yeah, not the used thing correctly. Is, I've, I don't think I've ever said anything is cringe and meant it like I mean it for real. But oh, this really? is I mean it for this real. This is something that you think is cringe because normally I have. I have a list of things that I think are cringe that really probably could be a mile long. Yeah, yeah. In, I'm pretty in, selective in my cringe. In 10 aerial, size 10 aerial font, just straight across, no word wrap. A mile. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's quite a lot. Can we warp? Yes. Herbert's lab. But yes. Yeah, that's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, I agree that it's cringe. I said it jokingly. And also, cringe itself is cringe, and is going to be someday if it's not already. Because yeah. you know what cringe is just a synonym it's gonna be, for... It's going to be overused, it, I think. Yeah, yeah I we're going to come up with another word. It is, the more people that say it. Shit that you shouldn't say, or it's going to make people feel sympathetic embarrassment well, for you. The thing is, there are, already, there are already other words that sort of describe that, such as, like, uh, obnoxious, annoying, inappropriate, PC, not PC. Like, well... It doesn't, but like it doesn't quite capture. P it, I know. Oh, there's a lot. Of PC's not the right word at all. No, no, no. But you know, Definitely you know, what I'm saying like there are similar terms that you could use. Because cringe will become uh, obsolete one day. Yeah. Not like cool. Cool never becomes uncool. Yeah. What? How is that? I don't know. It's been like a hundred years. Cool. Figure cool, it out. People cool has been fine to say. Kids, kids say it. Adults say it. Everyone's been saying cool since the dawn of time. I don't know the seventies. The cavemen were like, "Who lit a fire?" Cool. Way before. <laughs> <laughs> and then another caveman chimed and said, oh, "Actually, this is the opposite of cool. This is technically, it's, yeah. it's hot." <laughs> Which was a thing for a while. I remember people say that's hot. It's hot. I never got into that. No. I always felt like that was cringe. I think that's the reason that uh, cool will. Actually, no, that doesn't even make sense. I was going to say that's the reason that cool will stick around because it's related to temperature. It's so universal. But hot, yeah, but hot, hot is, is gone. And yeah, yeah, that's it's gone. Dumb. gone. It's only ever used to describe like uh, someone's looks at this point. You can I, say like somebody no. looks hot. Yeah, right? I, that's still fine. I guess. I guess that maybe that's where it is then. Yeah, that's where it's, it's at. Not gone that's forever. where that word is at. That's all you can really say. That's where it's at. You can't use it as Slam. an adjective as a no as a synonym for cool. No, you sure can't. Unless you're talking about us. Yeah, we're pretty sexy. <laughs> As rated by ourselves. Oh, okay. Man, that laser's crazier. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, God, crazier. You ever eat craisins? They have the worst name. What are those? They're those are just... Um, they're dried cranberries. They're dry, dried cranberries. Yeah, I used to buy those. Really? Yeah, you know what's... Oh, man, this is a good snack for you fellas out there. <laughs> You're gonna Why? Wa you're gonna want to get cashews. Oh. You get <laughs> Why did I say? Oh. <laughs> you're gonna want to get. Are we being funny or obnoxious? I can't even this? tell. Try. I, and, I don't know. Try and move to the side while I'm, you're up there. If Maybe it's like a Super Mario Brothers hidden top and top in world. Top in world. <laughs> <gasps> it was an you orb. You are smart, man. Okay. Um. I yeah, craisins. They're fucking excellent, but by yeah. themselves, they're a little too sweet. Here's what you do. You want to make a mixture. Should we take a break here and we'll talk about craisins in a minute? Yes. As soon as Ed unpaused and heard this pulse pounding music, he just started headbanging and making a real, a real crazy face. It's great. It's great. So it's craisins. Fun music. Yeah, we yeah, were talking about good. craisins in the most long-winded way possible. I was telling you guys a really great snack. What you want to do is you want to mix about three parts cashews, one part craisins. Maybe four parts cashews, one part craisins. Okay. You want to dilute the craisins a lot. <gasps> and... What? And it's just a little bit sweet and you get the saltiness. Get salty cashews, by the way. Ah, okay. Important. And it's just a like a salty sweet snack and those kind of mixes are great. <gasps> I lived on that for like... Oh, wow, they combine with each wow. other to help. So you're going up here to rescue Callie now. Yeah. Through this maze. This has got to be the final area of the game, dude. Yeah. We're going to beat this game soon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited about the beating of this game. Tell me more about craisins. 
Anyway, it's a great snack. I lived on that for like a week. Sounds really good. Time. That was yeah. like half of what I ate for a week. That turns down. Pretty ridiculous. It gives you a lot of the, uh, and the, the cashews kind of fill you up too because they're, yeah. they're kind of heavy. Super fatty and all. That's the best food. That sounds really good. Crazins, bro. I'm a big fan of pork rinds. Like my guy to snack is not crazins, but pork rinds. They're great. It's pulse pounding. You're right. It is pulse pounding. I wonder who composed this music. Oh no! Oh, you're going backwards. Am I dumb? I yes, think I'm this dumb. Is not where we want to be. I'm wanna... dumb. It shows a Cali symbol though, not the bear. It does. Well, how did this happen? How could this happen to? Oh wait, no. This is right. This is right. We have to go back as doggy, as bear. Oh, and go around. Go around. Oh yeah, you're right. Bear. I think you're right. Go around. Yeah, you're right. See? I haven't proven anything yet, but I know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. It's a good snack, Joe. You're right about craisins. Have you tried it? Cashews plus craisins? Craisins? Craisins. <laughs> no, I haven't tried craisins yet. Yeah, these lasers are crazy. But great lasers, they're craisins. I was, I was talking about craisins because they have the goofiest name that I, I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. It's not my favorite name. So speaking of health, health snacks and health, uh, I'm looking for. A controller peripheral called an extend play. Oh. It's spelled X T E N D play. You found the emergency. Just take button. the E off the beginning. And it's a really goofy looking, stupid, stupid looking controller attachment for an Xbox 360 controller. That's the version I'm looking for. And it extends the controller by a lot. If you look this up, you're gonna laugh. But I I've been having problems with my hand when I play video games for too long, which is not even that long anymore. And uh, it's it's cramping my lifestyle, literally. <laughs> cramping my style. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. So I have I have big hands. I have oversized hands for my body. I'm not a, I'm not a huge guy, I'm not a tiny guy, but I, uh, I have very big hands. Yeah, you do, you're a freak. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Most controllers are a little too small for my hand, and this thing looks like it's gonna give me a better grip on the controller, and from all the reviews and everything I've seen about this peripheral, it looks like it might help me out with my problem. It's only for Xbox 360 controllers, but I That's think from what I've seen, it fits for an Xbox One controller, because it stretches out a little bit, Oh, and like, I don't know. It no. might fit, it might not, but it if probably. it doesn't, I can use a 360 controller at least to play PC games. It's not a huge deal. They're probably if it means enough. not being in pain ah. on my hands from playing video games. So, I'm looking for one of these, but they don't make them anymore. The company is out of business and I can't contact them. They don't have a website. Their Twitter oh. is inactive. I can't get I can't contact these guys. I've looked on Amazon, I've looked on eBay. Uh, there was one auction on eBay, but I just missed it. Ow. Oh. So, Wait. I didn't get it on eBay. Okay. And there's there was one store I actually ordered it from. The only place I could find it was a store in France. Oh my god. It's uh Oh, hey, you saved her. Sweet. Cool. I guess this power-up knocked me out. Also, we collected something called the emergency button. Or maybe it's a key item or something. Bera. This is a bear that purrs. Oh. This is probably also a bad place to talk about. I'm going to talk about it again in another episode because I really want this thing. Okay. But, yeah, I ordered it from... Don't order from StealthGamer.com. They're a scam site. They took my money and I filed a... I filed a chargeback with PayPal and they haven't replied to it. So they still have my fucking money. Wow. What happened? They, I ordered it, and then a week later, they still hadn't shipped it. I sent, I sent them an email or a support ticket or whatever, and I did that over the following week, and they never responded to me for another week. So it's been, it had been two weeks, so I realized they're not, I'm not getting it. They're not shipping it to me. Jeez. And then I filed a, a complaint or a chargeback or whatever with PayPal so I can get my money back. Luckily, I paid with PayPal, so I don't have to go through them to get the money back. And they marked the item as shipped. Not shift. They marked the order as complete mm -hmm. as soon as after I did that. Wow. Right oh. after. It huh. was like seconds after uh -huh. I filed the chargeback with PayPal. But they didn't respond to the chargeback on PayPal, which they have to respond to in order for me to get my money back. So oh. they, they get a certain number. I'm going way too into how this. Does, but they're fucking... How is that a rule? That yeah, the, it's, it's dumb. The vendor has to respond? Yeah, they get some... They get like weeks to respond. It's ridiculous how much time they give. Just... Did you use your credit card? Just use a credit card chargeback. Those are always in favor of the consumer. Yeah, well, I use PayPal, so I have to go through PayPal. Did you, oh, it's like your PayPal account balance? Yeah. Oh, because you can still use your credit your credit card for yeah. PayPal, well, I have, which I usually do. I have money in my PayPal, because anyway, right, this right. is getting way too in-depth, but 
the bottom line is uh, I, I'm looking for this peripheral. I can't find it anywhere. So if anybody that's listening knows where to get one of these extend play things, let me know. I'll pay more than it's more than the retail price for it. So if you have one somehow, and you want to sell it to me, I will buy it from you. You know, just PM us on YouTube. I doubt there's anybody out there, but I no. felt like I thought I would reach out. I'm probably gonna mention it on another episode. Maybe not with this long-winded story before it, but. I am still looking for it. I really want to go for the obvious sex joke, but I can't because it's too obvious. Oh yeah, it's pretty extends obvious. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's peripheral for my gaming, gaming sessions. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Yeah, that thing did look pretty cool. I, I wonder. It doesn't look cool. <laughs> well, okay. I, I mean, the concept, cool, the, the concept, concept cool. seemed yeah, interesting. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. It didn't look cool at all. <laughs> it didn't look cool. It looks like a giant, like a giant balloon you put around the controller. It looks like a big booger. For your controller. Uh, uh, yeah. It's yeah, kind of shaped like a big booger. That's a nice way to say it. So, dude, I think we're at the end of the game. Do you want to press on, or would you like to stop and do some games we never peed? Uh, Play. we don't have a whole lot of time. What? You're right. Because we might be able to finish this game tonight, in the next 20 minutes. I don't know about that, because there's going to be credits and stuff. I don't want to rush it. I want to enjoy the game and enjoy the ending, you know? I don't know, man. I, I, I have faith that we can do it. That's what I think. But... You tell me what you want to do, and let's check out the map when you when you get to the next door. So that this is it. This is apparently skull. if this is the last level. All right, let's let's just kill whatever that boss is behind there, and if right. there's not another, if there's another area or kill, if it's the last boss, we might not be able to kill it. It might also be hard. Oh yeah, it might be really hard. So we'll see. This might be the last episode of CC3. That that'll be. Yeah, I know. Number five. Yeah, that would be kind of. That'd be sad. Yeah, well, I don't want this game to be over. I know, this is a great game. Man, we spent nine hours on Mighty Number no. 9 just playing the game, not to mention all the, the editing. Nine hours? And, uh, well, nine, nine, nine episodes. Hours. It was nine, nine episodes, episodes. Yeah. that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah. They're roughly an hour each, that's kind of like how I based it. It's probably like, whatever, who cares. It was. A, it took a long time. Yeah. It took way longer than it should have, and man, that game. Um, I, I was thinking for the analysis for that game, I'm having some trouble writing a like a scripted, uh, you know, like a, a very... A very uh, line by line type of analysis, just because I don't know. I feel like it's hard to do because the biggest sin that this game creates is not this game, but Money Number no. Nine is just being bland, and it's really, really hard to show that. I'm having trouble with it, so maybe I'll just do an off the cuff analysis as I watch us play through it. I don't know. I haven't figured it out, but hmm. I think it's worth it. I think doing an analysis on Money Number no. Nine is still worth it because I think it's. I think it's a good example of not, what not to do, right? Yeah, there's, some, still there's definitely it. something there. And I think uh, negative videos are generally pretty well received. I hope so. Videos that are, are negative analysis, negative design. It just... I, Which we haven't really done, but no. I don't know. Whenever I see whenever I see other other channels do negative critiques of games, oh. they usually do pretty well. Yeah, because it's, it's, um, it's scandalous. You know, it's more scandalous than praising something. Yeah, it's easy to, it's easy to praise, but... Drink this milk. Yeah, I don't know. I was just sorry. I, Everybody, I everybody's nice when you first meet them, but yeah. I didn't have to bring that up at all. I don't even know why I did. Um, yeah, I don't know why I said that. Everybody's not, not. That doesn't have anything to do with it either. This might be our <laughs> last store. Maybe we need that cyber sword, bro. Yeah, we do, don't we? Don't we? What is it? 25k? Yes. Oh, look at that cyber. We. Oh my god. We also got a uh, health regen level one, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Swing that sword! I want to see that sword. Yeah, look cool. at that cyber sword. <laughs> Why do you call it a cyber sword? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I was, I, I was rewatching part of the episode, and I, and we were talking about how funny that is. The cyber sword? Yeah. It was really funny to me. And now I'm beating it to death, oh. though, so it's not funny anymore. But I don't. Oh, I, oh, I have to go rewatch that. I don't remember that. Can I talk about Don't Starve? Please. I've been playing Don't Starve. We kind of talked about it a little bit on that other game. We were what was the other game? Necropolis. We were playing that on a recent Wild Game episode. That'll probably air before this. I'm guessing. Air. Come air. Out. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah. Don't Starve. It's. I'll try not to rehash too. Um, it's gonna be a rehash though. It's a uh, it's a roguelike game. I've been playing it lately. I don't think I'm gonna finish it because it's a roguelike game that takes potentially dozens of hours to beat <laughs> and there's permanent death you could play the game for actually dozens of hours and become permanently dead and have to start from the beginning yeah that's crazy in a randomly generated game it's too it's too much it really is too much if you fail it's just over you don't get to start it's divided up into levels and you would think that if you clear one of the levels 
which takes hours and hours to beat, <laughs> probably multiple tries, that you would, you'd be able to, you'd be able to start at the beginning of level two, say, if you get to level two and you die there, but you have to start at the beginning of level one and do it all over again, which takes right, hours. Right. Yeah, man. Well, people love it though. Apparently, but a lot of people love the game, and I can see the charm in it because I played it. I played it a lot. I played it for hours so far, like many hours, probably a dozen hours. I've gotten. I won't rehash everything, but I've gotten far into the game. But it's not a game that you think you'll you'll ever. Complete. I don't think I'll finish. I think I think I'm gonna finish my current file, which I'm in a slightly dire situation currently <laughs> in it. But I could I could probably come out of it. The situation that I have my character in right now. Oh, but I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. And it's also a game that doesn't explain anything to you. It's a wiki game. You need to look, at, look it up on the wiki unless yeah. you really... Re no, you actually have to look it up on the wiki. I'm going to spoil part of Don't Starve right now. Because this is a big part I wanted to talk about in the game. Alright, there is... There's a stage. The one that I'm currently on. Where in order to access a part of the stage, there's these, uh, there's these things that oh. are... There's these obelisks. Okay. And they block your path. There's there's just a line of obelisks creating a wall. Okay. And it blocks your path to a part of the level that you have to get to in order to complete the stage, in order to progress in the game. Oh. Okay, so you have to aim for the zombie head. Oh. Sharp steel. You can only hit it with swords. <laughs> well, good thing we got a cyber sword now. Mm-hmm. Ham sandwich. Oh. Ham sandwich. Do we have a ham sandwich? No, we didn't buy any hams. Why would you tell us now, dude? Yeah, Lloyd. You're freaking light. <sighs> it's okay. We'll, we'll we'll do it. Should we wing it? Yes. We don't got a ham sandwich. Oh, so see, look at there's that head. There's H that zombie head. Yeah. Looks like an alien head. H. Burt. Like when Dr. Wiley used the hologram to pretend that he was an alien. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed like that. Yeah. That was really unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh. Yeah, get that damage in there, bro. <laughs> it's not doing that much damage. Mm, you're right. This might be something that we, we need to backtrack for. No, and, uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. Check I'm it wrong. Out. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, it's doing not that it's much. It's doing a little bit. I saw it go down oh. by a pixel. Oh, the collision turns off after you kill him. So, there we go. Well, you're not taking any damage. What, what, no. is, what is the attack here? Where's the attack? Well, right? he was doing a, a, a laser beam underneath for a second. Oh, like yeah, that, I see that. that. Imagine this. Oh, that's gonna hurt there you. we go. He just grabbed you. Oh wait, am I controlling this? No. Oh, no, he's, he's gonna drop me. Oh, yeah, he has to shoot it. You. I was yeah, like, what? It. So I can't even shoot use it with your shooter. I can't use my, <laughs> I can't use my best weapon, the the missiles. I have to use my sword. Yeah, you've been really using those missiles. I've been really got them. The lasers. Yeah. are they're quite good too. I've been neglecting. It seems as though you really like the missiles. I like the shotgun. I love a lot, the missiles. I didn't even get. To, I didn't play since we got the missiles. Yeah, I know. I haven't been playing that much. Ed's been doing most of the playing. He's quite good at this game, though. I am quite proficient at Callie's Caves 3. Uh, oh, yeah, let me finish my Don't Starve story. I'll try and do it real quick. So, uh, you have to get past these obelisks, and the only way to get through it, there's no clue anywhere, at least not that I found, nothing obvious, and this is an important mechanic in the game. The only way to cross these is to lower your sanity meter. There's a sanity meter in the game. Is to lower your sanity meter to 15% or below, what? which is deadly in the game because if your sanity meter goes down to a certain point, shadow monsters attack you and kill you, and your game is over. Your game that took you dozens of possibly really? dozens of hours. That so you sucks. have to do something that hurts yourself <laughs> in order to pass through the obelisks. Yeah, that's insane. It really is that's very. It's very esoteric. You really need a wiki for this. And game. that's the only solution. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way to get My through it. God, look at that money. So I was I was lost in the game and I decided to wiki it and that's and why does that allow you to go through them? I don't know. It doesn't really explain why. And oh. then yeah, you go crazy and you have to and you have to have a way to become uncrazy as soon as you pass through. So you have to do a lot of preparation and also you don't know what kind of an area you're going to be wandering into. You could be wandering into a monster-filled area or a a desert, a forest. So you need to pack. You need to put a lot of shit in your inventory to make sure that you're going to be covered for food and supplies when you get across because that's the game is like a survival game it's called don't starve you know all right so what's up bro so i'm pretty sure this is actually the final area because a it's the last place on the map b, b it's a giant skull c look at the map it's going straight down that's a final boss map to h e l x helks <laughs> so that do you want to funny that was a forced to laugh a bit yeah I mean, we could save it for next episode. It's going to be a pretty short episode, the finale, but... Yeah, well, that's definitely... Let's definitely do another app. Yeah. All right. 
Well, we're almost there, guys. Stick with us. Thanks for joining us on Game 2.